Hi, I'm Pastor Andre. And I'm Pastor Denise. And, and we're, we're the, the Junior, Junior Ambroses. Ambroses. <laughs> and this is TWWC's Their Place. Let's go. A 42,000 square foot facility that God had hidden for the Word Worship Center. I remember Dad and I talking several times about buildings that he would find in Park Forest. And then that situation not working out. And he would find another building and then that just wasn't quite the place. And after a while, it's a little frustrating. After a while, you're kind of wondering, Lord, where are you? What are you doing? I'm hearing you and I'm sensing you saying part for us, but nothing's really opening up. You want to know why? Because this place right here was hidden for the Word Worship Center. This place sat on the market for some years and God had this place for us. This is the former Park Forest Academy, which was a school dedicated to producing excellence in its students, which I find quite fortuitous as TWWC is about producing excellence in the lives of its members. By this time, Pastor Ambrose had well adjusted to pastoral duties. The congregation was growing not only in numbers, but also spiritually. Ministries had begun to be birthed at the Word Worship Center, but there were still some missing links. Place yourself in Pastor Ambrose's shoes at this time, a story that's very similar to that of Moses. Imagine a group of people not only bringing themselves but their families to you, placing their full confidence in you and also their trust, looking to you for guidance following you wherever you go, but you just don't quite know where you're going. Well, we wouldn't be like that for long. On October 12, 2017, Pastor Ambrose, alongside a supportive team, closed the deal on a location at 375 Oswego Street in Park Forest, Illinois. The former Park Forest Academy would now be the home of the Word Worship Center. By God's provisions and grace grace, the Word Worship Center was no longer a migrating flock, but God fulfilled his promise, a promise of a home, a promise of a their place. But like the children of Israel and the promised land, yes, the honey was glistening in the sun and the milk was flowing, but there was a lot of work that needed to be done. And when I say a lot of work, I mean a lot of work. When you walk into the Word Worship Center today, what you see is not even close to a testament of Pastor Ambrose's dedication and his vision. But we can't count out Lady Charlie Ambrose because a lot of the beautification that you see at the Word Worship Center and the renovations are by her design. Let's take a quick moment back down memory lane to see the eyesore Park Forest Academy being transformed into the apple of God's eye, the Word Worship Center.
About one year later, renovations at the Word Worship Center were complete. And on Sunday, March 4, 2018, Pastor Ambrose, being inspired by a vision by the late minister Ventra Smith, would lead by caravan the members of the Word Worship Center from Rich East High School for the last time and take them to possess the land of our new location being led by a Red Shelby. And when we pulled in behind our pastor, we came in dancing. You know, one of the things that I've learned through witnessing pastor's journey is that God will give you vision. Vision is just simply the ability to see beyond what you see. It took vision to transform this gymnasium into a beautiful sanctuary where the people of God can come and sing his praises, where the word of God could go forth. It took vision to transform the hallways of this building into a place where the people of God would be proud to come and comfortable to come and fellowship with one another. It took vision to build a, a cafe yes. inside of a church. Thank God for vision. <laughs> Thank God for vision. <laughs> one of the things that I have appreciated over the 24 Four years, years <laughs> uh, that I've been a part of the family is is the consistency. There is consistency everywhere uh, that you look, particularly uh, in the relationship between mom and dad. I love their partnership. I love that um, whenever he has a vision, mom works overtime to figure out what part she needs to play. She, she works overtime. In figuring out what part she needs to play to help bring that to pass. Um, I think it's a wonderful example. It's a godly example. Um, unfortunately, there aren't a lot of godly examples and people are ready to give up on marriage. And I just appreciate um, that love and that dedication and, and the respect and the consistency. They have been consistent. You know, who would have thought that we, the Word Worship Center would be in such a place like this? Who would have thought that we would be in this place that is beautiful and free to worship. Who would have thought we would have been a part of a loving family? Uh, we genuinely love each other. We yeah. genuinely care yeah. for each other. And that is a testament of the leadership that we have. And I firmly believe that being under this type of leadership sets us up for the future. Eye has not seen, neither has ear heard, Neither has it entered into our hearts the things that God has prepared for the Word Worship Center. Yeah. I believe God has some great things in store for us. Who knows? Possibly we're on a campus as opposed to just a school. Who knows? We may inherit the land mm -hmm. <laughs> part for us. Who knows? I am game for taking over territory for the kingdom of Almighty God. We know that the Word Worship Center is in the heart of God, and he has big plans for us, and he reveals it to his prophet, Pastor Claude Ambrose. So looking back on the journey, what we can say definitively is from tight places to wide open spaces, God has been good. Uh, he has given us the grace to continually transform our ministry and ourselves. We are consistently growing and transforming. And over the next 10 years, I look forward to more of the same. 
Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. This is Pastor Andre Ambrose <laughs> we signing are. off to you. you. I bid you adieu. Mm. God bless thee and thine. Is, is my, my prayer. prayer. <laughs> Pastor Ambrose, throughout these 10 years, if you have ever experienced a moment of uncertainty, I hope and pray that these 10 years and this video will give you the assurance that every single step that you have taken has been ordered and ordained by God. You are a husband who is respected by his wife and his family, who manages his house well. You are blessed. You have a church family that is full of individuals and families who love you, who support you, who believe in you. You are blessed. God has shown you and has sent you leaders who are strong in their own right, but yet see leadership under you. You are blessed. The vision that you had that started off as a calling is now tangible, can be seen and can be touched. Pastor Ambrose, you are truly the greatest pastor that the world has ever seen in Christian. We thank you for your service and we thank you for your dedication and conviction to preaching the word of God into our lives every Sunday. Everybody needs a Pastor Claude D. Ambrose. Pastor Ambrose, I declare that great things will continue to come from you. I pray that your ministry will continue to grow and that it will expand beyond the walls that you have set for us. I pray that leaders will continue to find guidance in you, that souls will continue to find Christ through your ministry and that your words that you speak that warm and comfort us for so many years will one day reach the ears of people all over this world. I would not only like to take time out to personally thank and to honor Pastor Ambrose for his personal investment into my own personal life, but I also would like to thank the 2024 Pastoral Anniversary Committee for trusting me and allowing me to operate in this capacity once again. I pray that you have enjoyed and have been blessed by this video and this evening. Happy 10 year anniversary, Rabbi. I'm Brother Jay Doris. Shalom. Jay Doris, brother Jay Doris, director, <laughs> filmmaker. <laughs> um, so as we conclude our part um, of the interview, we just want to look back. I'm gonna start over because I got lost. From yeah. Pastor Claude Ambrose's journey, beginning in ministry as as he per ah the. Pastor, God, I'm about to... Ken Evans and we are here at St. Bethel where Pastor, ah, where Pastor Ambrose's journey in ministry begins. Where Pastor Ambrose's journey in ministry begins. I'm Minister Ken Evans and we are here at St. Bethel to talk about, ah, to talk about. TWWC. I should walk up cool. And you have to allow God to give it to you. Oh, almost, almost, okay. Let's do it again. Ah, I was almost, ah. You good? I'm good. Yeah. No. From tight spaces, that's wrong. Hey there, and I'm Pastor, right? <clears throat> 
But, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it simple. Uh, so just so don't do, don't preach. I'm not. Cause you need three points when you preach, but when you just talking, you only need two. <laughs> and a hoop, right? <laughs> You never came professional for me, man. You know, when I tell I came professional on me. I tell Andre, you think you're Steven, you man. Oh, tell him that he's very competitive. Yeah. You know that? Stop rolling your eyes at me. Stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll mix church. Baptist, Church of God in Christ. Christ. AME. <laughs> form of this, form of that. All but we're just TV Christians. Just Christians. Right? <laughs> Free to worship, you know? Free to worship, man. I ain't, I ain't got to...